Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Face Sister Just and welcome back to Subnautica. In the last episode we actually ended up finding a wreck in our first ever Cyclops expedition and now we're just dropping down. Uh, just like so and I got this over here which is exciting. Which means that <coughs> which hopefully means I haven't been here. Thermal reactor module. I don't believe I have this. That is amazing. And of course, this is where I will actually start using all the things we have here. Membrane tree. Okay, that one was already scanned. Right, let's actually break this because you never know what you might pick up. And we need all of the resources we can get. That's why we actually started off on this expedition. Okay, how do you actually enter this wreck? Ah, there we go. Okay, a laser cutter will be required for this one. I should have enough oxygen to successfully survey this wreck. I really need the sonar scanner upgrade for my, what do you call it, uh, for my Cyclops. That will be of huge help. Okay, so, and another one, eh? Okay. Or if I can find the upgrade, that would be great as well. Kiss me hard before you go. Summertime sadness. Let's go. Okay. There we <laughs> ah, I swear to God, I was not expecting to find that. Okay, so uh, basically, it's like I ordered that and it just came through the mail. I don't think I need anything else, upgrade-wise. Well, let's see what else we can find in... Oh, great, another door that needs to be cut through! <laughs> All that thoughts about actually conserving... Ah, uh, you know, energy with batteries and stuff like that. I guess that all falls into the water with this one. Okay, nice. Okay, that one leads on over here. There's basically nothing in here as per usual. And that leads into here and this basically leads to a dead end. Which essentially means I'm gonna die. Which is also great, you know, fun times. Fun to be had by all. Okay. Bam, bam. Exited out of here. Kabam. Prawn suit over here. Enter for the oxygen. Okay, we got what we need. Let's actually just head on over here and see what else we can find. Because I don't really think I have anything else that I need to scan to unlock. At least I don't think so. I mean, nothing pop comes to mind. Yeah, these are a bunch of... Thingamabobs, but the important thing is I actually have the upgrade unlocked. And that is where I want to go. Okay, nice. It was by pure coincidence that I happened to find this. Which again is weird all on its own. But okay, let's go ahead and drill this quartz. We might need it. That is, I will need it for my upgrades. Uh, that is for my future plans for the base. I actually want to get uh, an aquarium. Well, I won't need a hell of a lot more of that. 
All right, it's Wednesday. I should take out the trash. Okay. And that should go kabloom. Excellent. Maintain, maintain, maintain. Okay. Go, 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 go. I fell just short of it. Just shy of it. Oh, god damn it. Well, yeah, this actually went pretty hard into it. Scanner room fragment, really? If by descending to this depth you don't have a scanner room. I mean, come on. Yeah, but this was pretty freaking wrecked, I mean. Okay. Let's go up. A little bit further, a little bit further. There we go. Let's go ahead and break that. Nice. And it should be right on over here. No, right on over there. Missed again. Okay, gonna get it right this time. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Let's get all of this quartz. Excellent. Let's head down here. Put all of this in here. Okay, we got that one. Okay, so that's amazing. I didn't actually believe I would be able to get the thing that I basically needed. Uh, but now... Basically, I wanted to head on over yonder. Okay. Yeah, over here. And to try to descend down here, but coming from this angle, it's almost impossible. Yeah, that's... Oh, ho, ho. Okay, maybe like this, but I gotta navigate it real good. Okay, even this is dodgy. Right, what the... Yeah, 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 I can see that. Okay. Okay. So there was something big over there. So we're just going to go ahead with silent running. We're gonna take it slowly. I need to keep an eye out. The silent running combined with the slow provides the safest optimal route that is the safest oh okay but what is it something is I kind of want to find out but at the same time I don't want anything to do with it ah there we go okay yeah, it's straight ahead
Is it... No, it's... No, it's actually... The... Oh, it's that thing. Oh, okay, I thought it was something serious. No, okay, we could we, we can ignore that. Ah, okay. That thing can be ignored. I mean, it's basically of no consequence. But this other thing. Okay, just a little bit more. I don't know what this other thing is. I'm guessing it's the same thing as that one. Okay. Yeah, this is actually pretty draining to the battery. Okay. We're at about 500 meters. And we are relatively safe here. Let me actually turn on the camera to see. There should be plenty of deposits down there which I can collect. There are also plenty of these annoying little things. Okay, and I'm guessing I shouldn't drop right nearby a thermal thing so I just head on over here a little bit yeah there are some deposits down there okay turning to the left Okay, I believe I can park it over here without much problems. Yeah, like this. Yeah, and this is at about 500 meters. Okay, so for silent running. Okay, you could have just turned off all of the lights, but... Whatever. Okay, it that did that. Perfect. Let's actually disembark. Okay, excellent. We are in a relatively safe position. Uh, for our Cyclops, that is. And we can actually just go out and explore a little bit. And let us see what we can actually find down here. Yeah, that octopus looking thing is not really tough. And I know that because uh, you can actually fight it with this. Again, just titanium. Should have moved a little bit further down then, I guess. I'm just gonna be mining titanium. But I do have the same uh, dive depth as my Cyclops, so there's really no point in charging way too ahead. Okay, so I will love Audi A3, of course. I, I like the Audi car brand. Can I afford now the A3 of course not? <laughs> okay. Let's head down here. I did see a bunch of uranium. Uranium is good. That will allow us to actually get some nuclear power going. Although I did pick up a bunch of uranium. 
Yeah, there we go. There's one. <gasps> and uh, my bad, that's a Uranite crystal. Which is basically uranium. I mean, let's not kid ourselves with fancy titles and stuff like that. That's uranium. Well, I mean, I picked a biome for the expedition that's really freaking poor. Obviously with resources, but... I did get the upgrades necessary, so... I will consider that a win-win. And I will... Freaking knife you. And of course my Cyclops went down. I just got that Uranite crystal. I believe it's free per power cell. And one power cell should last a long time. Okay, I can see the tail end of my Cyclops, so I didn't really go that far. Okay, nice, there's another one. You don't f Ooh, diamond. Nice. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Oof. Okay, before I get back into my prawn suit and therefore into my cyclops, let me actually see where it's worth going because this... I just do like that. This I can do like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you just keep teleporting away from me. That's good. Okay, so this is about 550. 165, 560. Okay, so... Just in general, heading down here would be a pretty good move. Yeah, this is 650, and these are the forgotten pools. Okay, if I can manage to park my Cyclops here. I should have my fill of items down there. And it's not that terribly far off, though. So. Ooh, another... Oh, that's a creature egg. I sh Although I should probably start collecting them, I don't really care. And building up a base here might not be the worst thing ever. Gel sack, don't really need it currently. 99 yeah, yeah you just keep teleporting buddy okay there's the prawn suit okay let's head on up here and the cyclops is over there of course it is So whenever I go to punch him, he teleports away like a little... Ah, I'm not gonna say what, but... You can kind of guess what I want, mean. A little pansy. Pansy schmanzy. I saw a Uranite crystal here somewhere. Where is it at? It's entirely possible I thought I saw it, but... Ooh, what's this? Lead. That's awesome, actually. I do have a bunch of leads back home, but we might as well mine some since, since it's right, right there, you know? There we go. Protects against radiation. That much I know. Tell me something I don't know about lead. 
Well, I can actually short circuit an electricity network, I believe. Good when it's updated to do 1001 things. Okay. Scan and search for smaller graph is in better performance. Rather than redemption of an operator down the college, that's true. Okay. Wrong. Okay, we got the lead. Let's move out. The mining process is a tad boring, in all honesty. It's nothing exciting. Oh, the worst thing is when those things actually teleport you out of your prawn suit while you're uh, yeah, using the jetpack. That's definitely the worst thing. Because then your prawn suit just falls flat down. And that's rather annoying for multiple reasons. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and start up the engine. 20s why I didn't even do anything but okay we're just gonna go ahead and do it okay ah it's because I left the silent running on so I guess it doesn't matter even if you turn off your engines. If you leave the silent running on, it's basically the same as if you left it on. Which is freaking stupid in all honesty, but hey. Them's the rules. Them's the brakes. Right, there's the, the gassy habitat. Okay. And down here should be the. Yep, this is what I need. Ah, okay. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I'm most likely gonna run out of energy. This is so stupid for the first one to actually, for the first batch to be just because I left it running on. I mean, how stupid can you get? Well, yeah, we're about 600 meters navigating down here has been a freaking nightmare. This basically means I have one power cell left. That's providing the power, so... Okay. No, I don't want it actually there. Right, I'm going to need to basically... Turn it around like this. And go to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Up a little bit. And then park it right and over here. Turn off silent running and turn off the engine. That should leave it at 10%. At least I hope so. Because if it doesn't... Uh, I am in a bit of a pickle then. Okay. Well, at least my water slash food source is constant, so... At least I don't have to worry about that. Alright, we do have a bunch of lead here. A bunch of titanium and some uranite crystal. Stoles. Okay, that one full. Let's put it into this one. This one is full. I haven't even gotten anything too particularly useful and most of it is already full. 
Yeah, this one is full as well. Yeah, these lockers are small. I should have made bigger ones, but I do have, uh, what do you call it? All right, didn't bring the habitat builder. <laughs> ah. Okay. Yeah. I can kind of see where this uh, the, this entire expedition is heading. I just don't want to lose the Cyclops, but if I do lose the Cyclops, you bet you sweet patootie, I'm bringing in it. <laughs> I'm gonna make a new one with cheats. Uh, I don't freaking care. I made it the legit way. In a way, I'm making another one. Freaking thing is expensive as hell. Okay, that's one ruby. Over here we have some quartz. Yes. Another ruby. I did end up using uh, quite a bit of rubies actually. There we go. So, replenishing my ruby supply is kind of high up there on the list. Nickel ore. Wait, they're just on the ground like that. Hell yeah, I'll scan it. Yeah, they're just going on and out there. Just being all it can be. Right, I shouldn't enter those caves because that, is, I know for a fact, is poisonous. So for that, I will need my suit here. The Cyclops is in a good position. Let's just go ahead and enter the prawn suit and let's descend. Ooh. Okay. Down here should be some interesting things to find. And to mine. At least I hope so. I don't really like the ocean. The ocean scares me. It is a vast emptiness of the unknown. I do believe that the moon has been explored more than the ocean. Which is really scary. When you think about it. Yeah, this is just a bunch of sulfur. Bunch of sulfuric. Okay, I could have brought my cyclops down there, but okay. If I were to leave this, I would most likely die. Okay. Ooh. So this goes down even further. Yeah, I do believe there's a Leviathan guarding this. Did I scan this? Most likely did. Okay, let's go ahead and enter the prawn suit. There we go. Okay, good. We're getting some nickel. That's some gold right there. That looks like lead, but that is lithium. Lithium I need. I did spend a lot of lithium. Making the damn thing. There's more gold over there. Okay, that's good. Okay, more rubies. Excellent. Just getting the upgrades made for this thing took a lot of resources out of it. I should make a beacon to this thing. And name it like Sulfuric Caves. Well, I mean, I can always look up the exact location online and just travel to it, you know? That is always an option that I keep forgetting I have. That is titanium. Okay. 
Inside the belly of the beast, you can get no peace. This is the belly of the beast. Let's go ahead and enter it. Gold, definitely needed. Silver as well. Those are the two things, two materials that I need to replenish the most. Valuable conductive properties, highly valuable social property. Yeah, people really do like their gold chains, their gold stuff. Now I can figure out why. I just know it's associated with money. Because it's worth, but why is it worth so much? <laughs> Before, salt was actually worth more than gold. But that begs the question, if you had a lot of salt, you were technically rich. You can trade for other things, but... If you knew that gold was gonna jump in value, and you traded on a bunch of salt for a bunch of, bunch of gold, you would technically be richer for it. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. What doesn't make sense is this waterfall inside an ocean inside of a cave. Well, I mean, it probably makes sense uh, if you know. But if you don't know, like, I have no idea how that makes sense. It just doesn't. It's as simple as that. Okay. Yeah, that sounded pretty bad, not gonna lie. Okay, let's jump over here. Just gotta transfer all of this in here. Yeah, a bunch of rubies and a bunch of gold. That is good. This will be a good haul. Actually, coming back... Yeah, that's a ghost leviathan. But my cyclops is 500 meters away, so... And it cannot get in here. So I'm relatively safe. Although, since I do plan to end this episode as soon as I finish mining this lithium, uh, the next time I actually pick up Subnautica, uh, that leviathan is going to be quite a surprise. Unless I remember it, which I doubt. Eh, so okay, just a little bit more, and we're just gonna end it here. Eh, actually need to get some shut-eye, and to set some things in motion for tomorrow.